Good morning, day 645 in our series 2 to 5. Uh, a lot of wind issues this morning. Uh, we are back at the gas station, and that was obviously outside. And there's a lot of wind. A lot of, I remember now, uh, a lot of like, like continuity issues because we had so much wind, and you know, obviously there were gusts at particular times and shooting things from different angles. I don't know, it sort of um, heightens and accentuates the, the, the differences uh, when you're shooting from different angles, whether the microphone is close or farther away. Um, it, it was pretty obvious that uh, the, the distance was different. Uh, whereas in other scenes, you can kind of cover it a little bit, a little bit better, I think a little bit easier where it's not quite as noticeable. So I think the majority of the time, well, on the last couple passes on this and this one as well, I spent a lot of time just trying to get it consistent. Uh, it's not it's not perfect. Um, obviously, you can tell some some differences to, depending on how far the uh, the phone was away from uh, the actors that were speaking. But I've gotten to the point where I think it looks and I'm well, sorry, it, uh, it sounds appropriate. Um, to where, like, if, if the, uh, the phone is closer, like, you, it, it's a little bit louder. If it's, if it's further away, um, a little bit softer, but not, not so much to where it, it was a distraction. Uh, I think that was probably the biggest lesson I've learned, uh, in this one is that having it, the, the volume at the exact same level, uh, throughout all the different angles and shots that you shoot isn't is an absolutely imperative uh, that like as you're watching it as long as it I don't know as long as your brain sort of registers that it's that it's appropriate um, it doesn't it wasn't really a distraction because I, I finished through it uh, through the whole scene and went back and watched it a couple times and uh, it wasn't a distraction. Like the words were still clear. There's still some background noise. Um, the wind. There's a couple, just the little spots. And again, I think it's um, probably something I pick up on uh, more than anybody else is going to. A couple little spots where um, th there's a, like some some bassy components in there that no matter how much I drag down the um, the lower frequencies, it just didn't come out for some reason. Um, so hopefully not, not too much of a, of a distraction. Uh, I still hear it, but I, again, I'm so close to this. I don't know how much of this stuff like anybody is ever gonna ever gonna notice. Um, you know, most of the time when I go to a movie, like I, I'm not listening for that stuff, at least at least used to. Now I can kind of hear things differently a little bit. And I, don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, but yeah, I uh, got through the scene. Uh, I think it, it sounds pretty damn good. And especially the fact that it was outside and there's a lot of other trucks and activity going on. Uh, I think it turned out really good. So anyway, on to, uh, on to the next scene. Starting to run out of scenes here, which in my book is a very, very good thing. So anyway, that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow.